Perfect. Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with another video, man. And I just have to say this, man. Your boy, Arthur Blank, has laid a expectation out for the Atlanta Falcons. And Dan Quinn, specifically. And he ex fully expects this team to be a playoff contender. Yep. 79. It's not going to be good enough this time. He expects to be in the playoffs. And my question to you guys out there, do you believe this Atlanta Falcons team can be a playoff team? A playoff contender? Do we have what it takes to be a playoff contender? I, I, I want to know what you guys think, man. Leave your comments below, yes or no. Do you believe so, man? I, and I'm just going to go down uh, just just from the offense, defense, special teams, coaching staff. I'm just going to give my thoughts on this real quick, man. First of all, anytime you have Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, I think you immediately, if those guys can continue to stay healthy, you are, in my opinion, a, a playoff contender. All right, at least your offense is going to be above average. So at this point, all you need was all you need for Matt Ryan and Julio Jones is that they say stay healthy. Offensive line to be uh, much improved. Um, in particular, for me personally, the running game has to continue to uh, evolve and get much better. Um, so the offense, we can run the ball at least for 100 yards uh, or 75 to 80 yards a game. I think that's a very good number for the Atlanta Falcons just just to start out, all right? The Falcons can average about 75, 80 yards a game. I think the Falcons' offense will be absolutely electric, all right? That's just my that's my thought. I think we have what it takes up front. Chris Lindstrom, Caleb McGarry, Alex Mack, and um, we still need that left guard. I don't know who it will be right now. Uh, Wes Weiser is a free agent. Uh, we have Jake Matthews right now. Um, I think we have what it takes to at least, you know, what we currently have on this team to, uh, to average about 75 to 80 yards uh, a, a game. With our running game, Devontae Freeman, don't know if he'll be back. But I like what we have with the offensive line. Um Anytime you have that, you're going to get 20 points a game. You're going to get 20 points a game from Julio and, and Matt Ryan. So, offensively, I don't think we're behind the eight ball as far as being a, 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 a top offense, top 10 offense. I think we have all the tools in place to be a top five, uh, top 10 offense. Um, defensively, you have to kind of figure out what the Atlanta Falcons, their path and their vision is. Don't know exactly. Uh, you know, Devondre Campbell is a free agent. Vic Beasley is a free agent. Tyler Davidson is a free agent. Um, you have Adrian Claiborne's a free agent. Jack Crawford a free agent. Bro, like, we, we, do, I don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen defensively. But I know for a fact that Dan Quinn has a plan. I know for a fact that. Raheem Morris, these guys have a plan. And what I'm seeing, just so far, just based on what I saw in the second half of the season, these guys are going to play much more man. They're going to play much more cover two. And they're going to use their athletes. They're going to use their safeties. They're going to use their corners to make plays. Put these guys in position to make plays. To stop the run to get interceptions, to even get sacks, to even get sacks, bro. They're going to put these players in position to succeed. And that's what we want. We want our guys to be in position to succeed. So when we look at the defensively, man, I, like just based on what I saw last year in the second half of the season, I like the plan what they have, the linebackers. I have the, love the plan what they have up front. Um, you bring in a guy like Ken Law. Um, who's actually your boy, Lieutenant Dan, who dropped the video. So check that out. I may even have that in the link in the description so you guys can check that out for yourself. Um, uh, Ken Law, 
uh, from South Carolina. I think he'll be an excellent addition to the Atlanta Falcons. And like I said, he did a breakdown on that video, so check that out for yourself, man. Um, but, man, we get a couple of guys who can go alongside Grady Jarrett and continue to help Grady Jarrett and improve um, consistency up front. Uh, Ken Law, Grady Jarrett. Uh, attack McKinley coming off of a shoulder surgery. Don't know how well he will be back and if he will be healthy, 100% uh, healthy. But I love, I like what I saw. I look what I see from the defense. Um, secondary looks promising to me. You have uh, Miller, who's still a question mark with his um, his PD uh, issue. Don't think that will be a problem, but it's always a question, especially when you have instances like uh, Rasheed Hakeman and um, Jalen Collins. Those things, Atlanta Falcons, we just don't want to re uh, relive those issues, but I don't think it'd be a problem. Like I said, uh, Desmond Trufant, uh, you have Isaiah Oliver, who's steadily improving. Uh, the Falcons have talent. Deion Jones, these guys have talent. So at this point for me, um, it, it becomes, can you get consistency from your defense? And that's the issue. The Falcons can definitely be a top team, a playoff team with just offense alone, but I think they can be a contender with the defense improving. Defense improve, this is a Super Bowl contender. Offensive, Offensively, we continue to get what we get from Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, they'll be fine. But it all comes down to being consistent on the defensive side of the ball. Special teams, I, I think they'll be fine. Um, you can bring back Ken John Bonner to be the returner. But when it all comes down to it, man, I, I truly believe that the Atlanta Falcons have everything we need to be a, a, a playoff contender. But um, consistency is what's going to make us a championship team. So let me know what you guys think about this, man. Do you think off the blank... Uh, is justified and his belief in the Atlanta Falcons, uh, expecting the Atlanta Falcons to be a playoff contender. Let me know what you guys think, yes or no. Leave your answers in the bottom. At the bottom. Comment. Your boy, man, Mike is hot, man. Peace. Whipping the Princess Diana. Double cup bling, found her. Oh my, oh God.